PSP 2000 and PSP 3000 are the most popular gaming devices introduced by Sony that are known for their extraordinary endurance. Several latest features of the gaming world raise their demand in the market every day. The larger question that arises is what is the real difference between the two and which one to actually opt for according to the needs. PSP 3000 is the latest version in the series that came sometime after the launch of PSP 2000. There is no major line of differences between the two but still, there are some facts to ponder about. Differences The PlayStation Portable, or PSP, of Sony has undergone major revisions throughout its lifetime. With every new version of the handheld, there are many changes to its design. So let's look at what the differences between the PSP 2000 and PSP 3000 are. To start with, and this is the biggest difference, the PSP 3000 has a very different screen than the PSP 2000. The screen on the PSP 3000 has a wider color gamut than the screen on the PSP 2000. The real-world effect of this is more vibrant colors. Add to this the fact that the PSP 3000 screen has a contrast ratio that is 5 times to that of the PSP 2000, and you have a much better picture quality. It may not seem very tangible on paper but you can clearly see the difference when you put the same image on the two devices and place them side by side. Sony has also decided to improve glare reduction in the PSP 3000 screen. This should allow for a more enjoyable gaming experience outdoors. The screen is also reportedly sporting a refresh rate that is double that of the PSP 2000. An increased refresh rate reduces the likelihood of artifacts appearing on screen and produces a more fluid motion of the characters or objects. An addition that many appreciate in the PSP 3000 is the built-in mic, which is absent in the PSP 2. It is located just to the left of the PSP logo at the bottom of the device. The PSP 3000 can then be used like a phone with the included Skype software and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Aside from the functional changes, there are also aesthetic changes to the device. The edges of the PSP 3000 are more rounded and are supposedly meant to improve comfort when holding the device for extended periods. The buttons on the bottom of the device have been replaced with oval buttons rather than the half circles employed with the PSP 2000. Lastly, and this probably the easiest way to spot whether a device is a 3000 or a 2000, the ring on the PSP loader door has been reduced quite significantly. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.